Are you single? Are you looking for love? Up, up, up. Before you move any further, let's talk about something that you need to do first. If you're single and you're looking for love, before you go out seeking a partner, what you need to do is to write down your non-negotiables. Your what? Non-negotiables. What you'll need for this activity is a pen and paper. What I mean to say is that before you go out looking for love, you have to list down the things that you want in a partner. Whether if it's just a boyfriend or someone that you want to be your fiance or husband or wife someday, you have to list down first the things that you want in a partner. Think of it like your wish list. Think of it like a recipe for the perfect dish. What are the ingredients? What are the basic things that you need to have in that person? Write it down. So on one side, write down the things that are nice to have. Nice to have. The things that are nice to have. Um, do you want someone who is fair skinned or darker skinned or moreno or do you want someone with abs or someone who will someone who can sing or is artistically inclined or someone who drives a certain type of car so basically these are the things that are okay nice to have but they are not crucial or not critical all right moving on on the other side of your list, that's where you will put down your non-negotiables. Meaning the things that are deal breakers for you. Your absolute 100% must-haves. So in this category, your non-negotiables, you will write down the things that are super duper important to you that you wouldn't have any other way. For example, maybe you need someone who has the same religious belief as you. So maybe someone who is a religious Catholic. Or maybe someone who is also a Muslim. Maybe that's important for you because that's going to be critical in a partner that you want to marry someday. Um, what else? Mm, maybe you want someone who is goal-driven, someone who has a dream. So preferably that's someone with a job or at least a business or even if you're still studying, that's okay. Uh, maybe you want someone who is serious about his academics or at least has a goal in life. So write that down or maybe what else? Maybe a non-negotiable for you is someone who is close to his or her family. Um, if you love your family and you are close to your family, ideally, you'd want someone who will be the same way with his or her family and will also jive with your family and will also be a good partner someday when you do start your own family in the future. For some people, height is a non-negotiable because I have uh, I have some friends who are really tall and they're girls and they want someone who is taller than them. Non-negotiable. Someone who wants to have children someday because maybe becoming a parent is one of your personal life dreams. Then finding a partner who doesn't want to have any kids might be a serious problem in the long run. Someone who is well-groomed or hygienic, that's a basic necessity. Someone who takes a bath at least once a day or brushes her teeth, his teeth, three times a day. So basic hygiene is important. That's a non-negotiable too. What else? Humor. Maybe you want someone who has the same sense of humor as you. Someone that you can laugh with or laugh out loud with. Maybe someone who likes giving hugs or who is not selfish in terms of showing physical signs of affection. Because like for example me, I, I want a partner who will be affectionate with me, who will give me hugs and kisses, who will hold my hand while we're walking down the street, someone whom I can cuddle with, 
And that's important to me. I can't have a partner who will push me away or who doesn't want to be in close proximity to me. Okay, so a few examples of my non-negotiables are the guy has to be smart. <laughs> I Intelligence is important to me, okay? Because I am an intelligent, bright woman and I need someone who can keep up. So that's actually number one in my non-negotiables. Smart. I wanted someone who has a good relationship with God, at least someone who's at par with mine or has a higher, deeper relationship with God, that would be ideal. Um, someone who values his family, um, what else? Someone who is goal-driven, yeah, that's a basic, I think most girls want that. Someone who can, oh yeah, this is a non-negotiable for me, it may not be for you. I want someone, I need someone who is good at communication in both English and Filipino. <laughs> because I'm like that. Uh, I'm good in English, I'm good in Filipino, and I talk a lot, as you can see, obviously. And uh, I write well. <laughs> I'm a good writer, I'm a good oral communi verbal communicator. So I need someone who can keep up and whom I will find interesting with. Someone that I can do mental sparring with. That's important for me. So, those are some of my non-negotiables. And for the nice to have, uh, the not so important but kind of important but nice to have. Um, I wrote down someone who can sing, someone who smells nice, has good skin, good complexion, <laughs> all of those things. So, to sum it all up, if you are currently single, and looking for love or looking out for a partner or dating people then it's important to have a list first um, it's think of it sort of like a job description before you start hiring someone you have to itemize the job description first who is the ideal candidate because having a solid actual list will help you to filter out all of the dudes and girls out there and also um, if you believe in the law of attraction and the secret once you are able to uh, clearly visualize the person that you want to be with that will actually help you in attracting that person so you can't wish for or pray for something or someone that you do not know. You can't pray to God for someone who is not specific. I mean, you can't pray to God and just say, uh, Lord, send me someone. Just anyone. Just send me someone. Anyone. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to pray to God for specific details. Like, Lord, send me someone smart who is close to his family. Someone whom I can have a great, awesome, delicious conversation with. Don't be afraid to ask. It worked for me. <laughs> I did it while I was still single. Um, well, I'm technically still single. I'm not yet married. But like, I already have a boyfriend. Um, but back when I was single, it was a very long time. Uh, I was usually ashamed to ask God for a specific guy or specific traits. Actually, I was also afraid to ask God for a boyfriend in general. But I thought, if I was praying for my career, if I'm praying for my family, for my health, and all of those things, why would I be ashamed to ask God for a partner if that's indeed what I wanted in life? Allow yourself to think about that guy. Think about that partner that you want to watch movies with, that you want to have dates with. Think of that partner whom you want to spend Christmas time with. That person that you would want to give a gift to on Valentine's Day. Someone that you would want to spend anniversaries with. Who is that person? Imagine him or her. Imagine holding his or her hand. It's a really helpful exercise to really think about that partner that you want to have in life and then write down the details of who he is and what his values are. Solidify that dream. Concretize that dream. Make him or her concrete. Write it down. It helps. It really helps. Think of it like a treasure map. Write down the pit stops. 
right down the trail and then eventually hopefully your little list will lead you to that treasure of love and that awesome partner that you've long been wanting to have so i want to know what are your nice to haves and what are your non-negotiables list them down in the comments below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to share this with your single friends i have a pen i have paper huh. i have a list non-negotiable someone who does not have bad breath that's a non-negotiable.